BlackBerry's second quarter performance was as dark and disappointing as expected. The struggling smartphone maker reported a loss of nearly $1 billion and a 45% drop in revenue. Still, shares closed up 1% on the day as the Canadian company faces an uncertain future and a highly conditional takeover bid. Christian Yeo has the details from Toronto. BlackBerry's latest figures surprise no one but still make for difficult reading. The company warned investors a week in advance that losses for June through August could hit $1 billion. $965 million is slightly under that mark, but no less troubling. It's an unfortunate situation, especially in Canada. We were all hoping that BlackBerry would really move those new BlackBerry 10 units and we would see them return to some of the prominence that they once enjoyed as a major player in the smartphone market. BlackBerry's own numbers lay bare how far behind the competition they now lag. In three months, BlackBerry sold 3.7 million phones around the world. Apple sold 9 million new iPhones in just three days. Worse still, BlackBerry admits most of its sales are for older models, like the Curve and the Bold, not the supposed game-changer BlackBerry 10 series. It is hard on people, it's hard on all of us, we're all part of the community, um, but we're, we're still fighting, we're still focused, and we're ready to start getting back on a track where we're going to start winning again. Wireless carriers, it seems, are not so confident. T-Mobile US is to scale back the BlackBerry inventory it carries in store. In a country with few globally recognized brands such as BlackBerry, it's a difficult pill to swallow. I would love to see a Canadian brand succeed, but um, the numbers are quite telling. Um, it, it hasn't really been a positive outlook for the last little while. It needs to go private so it can get uh, the public attention off of it and uh, come back with a better company. Meanwhile, Fairfax Financial, the holding company hoping to buy BlackBerry for $4.7 billion, has yet to reveal its backers in the potential deal. While Prime Minister Stephen Harper says the government has no role in Canadian takeovers, it would look into a deal involving a foreign investor on grounds of security. That's assuming a deal is ever achieved. As Fairfax embarked on its due diligence, skeptics say the situation for BlackBerry worsens day by day, with unsold inventory testing the patience of carriers. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.